So as for black women who wear bonnets in public, I'll just say this. Regardless of where you stand, whether you think bonnets are fine or whether you believe in respectability politics and think that a piece of head fabric is a threat to the black community. This debate shows us one thing for sure. If something is considered popular or prevalent among black women, it will eventually be so heavily dissected that it becomes a social or political discussion, no matter how simple it is. Like wearing a damn bonnet to the airport. This discourse could have easily been about just looking raggedy in public, but no, that's not specific enough to black girls. So y'all had to sprinkle bonnets in the conversation like parsley on bland pasta. We can't wear wigs or we hate ourselves. Wear your natural hair and you might not get a job. Now bonnets are a problem. Next, y'all gonna have a problem with cocoa butter and aging well. So bonnets are a hot topic on black social media. Um, so much so that comedian Monique weighed in on bonnets and black women wearing bonnets in public places such as you know airports and bus stations and malls and a lot of black men have weighed in on the bonnet wearing thing also such as myself i've talked about it and i really don't like the bonnet thing but you know hey if that's you more power to you i mean i don't have to date you if you want to wear them it's cool and there are other people unlike the first person who talked about it who believe that hey i'm not getting rid of my bonnet until jesus comes if you don't believe me, we'll play that clip. Okay, someone said it would be helpful if I take off the bonnet and um, can us black women stop wearing bonnets in public? First of all, it'll be helpful to who? Please explain. And then second of all, what do you mean stop wearing my bonnet in public places? I'm literally in my room. All my videos, if not most of my videos, are made in my room. I don't understand. And then third of all, I don't answer to you. I answer to God and to God alone. So I will continue to wear this bonnet on my head until God whispers in my ear, Kobe, take off the bonnet. Until that day comes, the bonnet's gonna stay right where it's at, okay? Okay, awesome. <laughs> but now, after hearing this, I shouldn't be discussing what I'm about to be discussing because we live in a world where people get mad when other people treat us as we treat ourselves. Now, Apple iOS, has just released a new emoji. And the emoji from some people on in the liberal world considered as racist, um, this whole you know bonnet emoji thing. And that's what I'm getting at. If you use the bonnet emoji, Apple is being racist against black people. Now, let me kind of tie this into my recent Dubai trip. Now I was in Dubai hanging out, uh, me and Dima, and I saw an enormous amount of, of wealth in the city. I saw enormous of wild amount of class in the city. But now I will also talk about what I saw as far as the women in the city. Arab women are not only very well addressed in, in immaculate looking there, uh, but they are not to be disrespected. And I noticed not only do Arab men know that, I noticed that foreigners know that. Uh, you will never fix your mouth to even think about going up there and disrespecting an Arab woman in the Emiratis, especially an Emirati woman. You could never do that without severe consequences. Why is that? Well, because Dubai is going to make sure that you know how to treat their people. Same thing with just even being in the country, running red lights, uh, being unsafe, committing crimes. You're not, it's not gonna go down in Dubai. It's not gonna happen, don't even think about it. Because when you come there, you're going to understand that their laws are what they are. And you're gonna use, you know, follow by those laws or something's gonna happen to you, all right? Straight up, that's the rules. If you don't like it, don't go. It's how it is. Don't get mad, it's how it is. But I learned that very, very, very quickly on, okay? Now, why am I talking about that? because I kind of want to get back to this whole point with the bonnet piece. Now, for the people who don't have a problem with the bonnet, I'm not talking to you. Some women are gonna think it's cute, it's funny, it's all of that, and you know what, I get it. You know, if you think it's funny, I, I like it too. I don't have a problem with it. Who I'm discussing are those people who feel like this racist. You feel like Apple's being racist. You feel like they're targeting black people. Well, if that's the case, 
then why do you allow it? The reason is you teach people how to treat you. Now, if you don't have a problem with somebody wearing a bonnet in the black community, you know, people like Apple's gonna say, well, hey, there's people out there who look like this. We wanna make our uh, technology more integrated with people of different cultures. So, hey, why not include it? And, you know, in, into the app and it, it's fine. And, and, you know, when people use it, they can better, and you know, um, communicate with each other. It's a cultural thing. So there's no issue with it. In actuality, they're right. Because you've already said there's nothing wrong with it. Because you don't mind people doing it in your own community. You can't get mad that people in your community do it. And then you get mad if they do it. Because if you don't want them to do it, then you don't do it. What I'm saying is this. When you go to you know Abu Dhabi or places like that, you're not going to find Arab men disrespecting their women. They're not going to do that. They might come to your country and do it. Or wait till your women get there and they do it to them. But they're not going to do it to each other. All right? When you come there, you're going to make sure that you see nothing but excellence. That's what you're going to see. All right. That's what happens. Point is straight out. Like you're going to see it. And the thing about it is with the black community, we can't be, you know, acting like at, at any given time we have a problem with something. And when other folks do it, we have a problem with them doing it as if exclusive to us. It's not going to be treated like that. You have to respect yourself. If you don't respect yourself, don't expect other people to respect you because you're black. See, we have to teach others how to treat us. I'm going to say it again. I'm going to say it again for those in the back. Um, Deem me to start my voice. We got to teach people how to treat us. All right. Women don't want to be disrespected. Hey, I'm just going to be honest. Y'all are going to like this. Certain things that certain ladies wear, some people are going to look at it and think that you're a certain way. If you have a problem with it, I can understand why you have a problem with it, but you just have to understand that certain people, it sends off the wrong signal. And certain people are not going to have the decorum to say, well, you know what? She might not be like that. Some people are going to be stupid, they're going to be idiots, and they're going to be coming at you in a disrespectful way. All right? You have to make people respect you and how you go outside and how you look in the public, how you talk, the things you say, all that makes a difference. If you don't believe me, let's talk about, you know, being a black man walking around um, with your pants hanging off your behind. We call that sagging. All right. Now, how is a woman, uh, a grown adult woman supposed to treat a black man? OK, who's walking around with his pants hanging off his behind? Do you want that woman to respect you? as a man no your, your actions are saying that clearly you're not a man to be respected but now if you're a man walking around in a suit you're dressed clean cut you're a man that is ambitious you're working every day your habits are saying that you're a man that should be respected guess what that is how people are gonna treat you and i'm gonna just be real some people are going to equate those people who who, who wear bonnets just as the black man who sags. They're gonna look at it in a negative pejorative light. You don't have to believe that's true, but it is. Just like you're gonna have people who don't care anything about bonnets and doesn't bother them, all right? But at the same time, if you're upset with Apple or Apple making that decision, then the one key thing that you need to do is to not wear bonnets if you feel that strongly about it. But guys, what do you think? It's your boy L. Shay Duke Jackson back at it again with another episode of Slurby Drunk. Appreciate your, appreciate your fall that you do. We're out.